Thanks, Odile. Good night to everybody. I want to uh, develop even more what Professor Shize uh, started developing the relation between France and China to to also offer other uh, other possibilities for cooperation. France should get on the train of the new Silk Roads, not only to go to Wuhan, which is called there the Little France, because so many Frenchmen are already there, but this is an occasion to change the world order. That's the challenge. That's It's at this level we should see the cooperation between France and China. If it is not done, uh, we will end up into uh, to, uh, a dead end and traps. Let's take the case of the need to give uh, economic uh, uh, market status to China, which is will be debated uh, tomorrow. Uh, there will be a summit of the European Council to decide if they giving, will give the status of market economy to China. This is typical of a real fake debate. China is not a market economy, but an plan, it, indicative planning type of economy of the goalist type. That's very good and fine, because it is this type of outlook which uh, gave the best results we are seeing today. Otherwise, if this statute is now given, uh, Many measures, uh, protective measures, which protect today the European companies, will have to face uh, Chinese exports, and these exports will ruin, will r destroy about 1.7 to 3.5 million jobs in Europe, according to the Economic Policy Institute. 183,000 only for France. It will, this will be a lose-lose relation both for France and China, uh, because if Europe is ruined, uh, it's actually the clients of China which are ruled. Uh, uh, so the truth is that you know, this, this problem can only be solved favorably uh, in the context of a global shift of the world economic, of the world economy. The real issue is that there is uh, now a gap which has been created between China and Europe. On the one side, China has developed a major industrial capacity. On the other side, Europe is in full decline since the last 30 years and threatened by implosion for an un un unsolved financial crisis since 2008. The only reform of the world economic system uh, for the entire planet to bring back growth. And that's exactly what the New Silk Road is proposing, to replace the dominant order by a, uh, by a new world economic order, which will be win-win and profitable for all. France and Europe should absolutely participate in the New Silk Road. The, fr the fact that France became a founding member of the uh, <coughs> of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank created by China is already a major question. In front of the challenges given by China, the policies followed by France, and I fully agree with Professor Shize, is, is already an interesting answer uh, to be a bridge towards a new world economic order. Paradoxically, the policies of Hollande and his team towards China seems to have be much better than what Hollande has been doing towards France. The the meeting there have been many many meetings between the leaders, and one really can speak about some kind of reproached coordination, close coordination between both states. Uh, China has been privileged ally of, of France since 1964, when the goal decided to re-establish democratic relations. And France has 
already a very good policy of cooperation on the high technology, especially on aerospace and civilian nuclear energy. Where France has clearly chosen the future <coughs> by accepting to share some of its know-how with China and to accompany the Chinese giant in its development in, in third-party countries. In aerospace, uh, in 2014, there has been already uh, the, the Airbus an assembly line has been constructed in Tianjin in the nuclear field and today there are two EPRs being constructed in Taishan. Uh, there is a global partnership in all the aspects of the fuel cycle, nuclear waste, reprocessing, reactor constructions, etc., etc. This, there was the, even more, it was a joint uh, statement signed on June 30, 2015, to cons to confirm this cooperation with the Franco-Chinese uh, agreement to build uh, the Hinckley Point in in uh, Great Britain, but also elsewhere, notably in Africa, which is a very good start. The other agreements between China and France is on the Veolia and Suez Environnement, which have been signed agreements to deal the pollution in the air, the water, and the soil. These companies are leaders in the, this field and also in the management of water in uh, petroleum complexes. Uh, France also constructs eco-cities, notably in Wuhan. Also important, the creation of a Pasteur Institute and of a P4 high-security biological research uh, against the, for the fight against diseases in collaboration with the Merieux Institute of Lyon. France obviously can be impulsed by the dynamic of China to go beyond current knowledge. Up till now, in the cooperation with China and France, uh, France has, has profited from the third glorious years of development of the De Gaulle period. But today, we have, uh, uh, today we have to go beyond uh, and we find our scientific impulses. For the Schiller Institute, there are several domains which we think are mainly important. First of all, the space area uh, is an area where China is now winning grounds, but on which France has a long tradition. Uh, with Ariane, uh, we should, of course, collaborate on the Moon-Mars programs and, and manned missions. There are the first agreements, historical agreements, have been signed in 2014 between the French space agency CNES and the Chinese uh, space agency. Uh, this gave us uh, the Chinese orbital program Tiangong, the mission Cardio Space. Uh, the idea is to study the adaptation of uh, uh, the human body in microgravity, which is a return of France to man missions. Secondly, we're talking about fourth generation nuclear power. France has very much uh, <coughs> a big experience on that uh, in terms of fusion fusion power, the uh, fast breeders, uh, uh, a hybrid reactor, fusion fission hybrid reactor, and also the uh, the molten salt reactor. 
uh, using thorium. In questions of thorium, uh, uh, close cooperations between the Chinese teams and the, and the team of the CNRS LPSC of Grenoble would be uh, would be a very good idea if they were given the means to develop their their work in terms of fusion power, uh, the ITER uh, uh, magnetic confinement at the uh, CERA and Cadarache. There are uh, we should develop the cooperations between the Tor Supra, the West team, and the reactor of Haifei Est, which which gave already very interesting results and should be supported. The third point is the development with China of Africa. A signed declaration by the Prime, the Prime Minister of France and China opens the road of joint programs in Africa and Asia. The accent is put on, on large-scale projects with major impact of the nation or the region in the infrastructures, energy, the support of uh, airplanes, uh, the railroads, agriculture, and the health. China wants to invest more in French-speaking Africa, would of course profit from the French experience. Uh, a, tri a, tri a trilateral conference uh, has opened in Dakar between China, France, and Africa. Unfortunately, the French part has reduced to uh, only 2 billion euros the fund which China wanted to be originally 50 billion. This was mainly because a private group of Bolloré uh, is not very happy to see China arriving on, in its and to meddle into its sphere of influence. Of course, we we would be favorable to develop these common great projects, such as dams, railroads, and uh, public utilities, including nuclear programs, and not with small micro projects uh, or or renewable energies, which only surviving with subsidies from the governments. So we need a high density energy programs. Fourthly, then there is uh, the big, the very <coughs> program of the future to have the Silk Road train. We arrived in Lyon, uh, 21st of April. These are uh, already 151 uh, French companies of which Peugeot are already in Wuhan. This is a miracle because uh, the train went through seven countries. The, 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 the rail systems are different. There were eight different locomotives. Uh, in the context of a of a world in full growth, this uh, uh, goods train should be ameliorated, and both in quality and in speed. This would be a, uh, a perfect program. It's only a Europe of the nations of the projects. Which would rebring growth to to all, uh, and notably solve the conflict in the steel, on the steel market. Uh, this is a great mission for France. <coughs> Beyond this or that project, and we discussed this with the professor. What will be the most profitable for France is to help France to find back its own dream. Most analysts 
which are infected by free trade and by geopolitics they only see the desires of China to guarantee its uh, its uh, supply lines and to build its own power and the populations are thrown in, into the same directions and that's a problem because outside the work we are doing here only the French ambassador in China Maurice Gourdeau Montagne seemed to have understood the importance of this project in an in an article published on French China Oryx of on March 2015 he defined this policy as a strategic policy with a vision of the future. It's not just about transporting goods, it's a strategic vision. France, he said, should understand this vision, adapt and to seize this opportunity. For example, we could build a railroad, a high-speed railroad between China and Lyon, the terminus of the Silk Road. This strategy, he said, is not only of a big importance for Europe and for France, but also will contribute to a more stable world. To, to find again its own vision, France could inspire itself of the great design, Eurasian design, proposed by the 17th century great philosopher and scientist and German politician Gottfried Leibniz uh, to give a world of peace Leibniz uh, presents his own idea in his work, the latest news from China at the time of uh, the Emperor Kangxi. Leibniz, this was an extraordinary period. <coughs> Peter the Great, the Tsar of Russia, which met Leibniz, uh, asked Leibniz to help him to bring his people out of barbarian behavior. China, respecting China, Leibniz uh, also influenced via his relations with the Jesuit missions, which as early as the 16th century, uh, uh, they four, four French uh, Jesuits went from Lyon to China, helped by Leibniz and Colbert. Uh, the great project of Leibniz consisted in promoting economic cooperation and a cultural and scientific cooperation between the extremes, the most developed extremes of Eurasia. And he thought Russia could be elevated in the same time. This is the description which gave Professor Chizeu <coughs> that this Eurasian continent uh, if, if the two extreme parts develop the relations among each other, they could develop what's in between. Uh, to Russia, Leibniz proposed a series of science academies where the best European scientists would come and teach and work in the research laboratories. Among <coughs> the researchers, there was the power of fire which was the nuclear power of that time, which was the steam engines, which were brought by Leibniz. In China, the, Jes the Jesuits advised the emperors in many domains. The French father, Gerbillon, for example, played a major role in the Treaty of Nerchinsk, the first uh, peace treaty between China and Russia. The Belgian father Verbist, who educated Emperor Kangxi, uh, advised him on mechanical uh, methods useful for his kingdom. Especially, Leibniz was absolutely flabbergasted by the state of development of China. By comparing both, he said that if, if both were equal on techniques and that Europe and if Europe was superior in contemplative sciences, where China was better than Europe without any constant, 
It was in terms of practical philosoph philosophy. Uh, we could. This brings Leibniz to discover the beauty of the work of Confucius, of Confucius foundation of this so called natural practical philosophy, which in reality defines a, a more in more depth uh, numerous metaphysical issues. Leibniz concludes Confucius. Leibniz concludes that the dialogue is possible between, between the natural theology of the Chinese and the re, 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 revelation, the revelated religion of the Christians. What is this Chinese humanism, which, which Socrates and Plato, uh, which make us think about Socrates and Plato? It is the the quest for the good then what the heaven gives us, says Confucius, that is human nature. Accomplish the law of our human nature. This is what we call the moral law. Cultivate the moral law is what we call culture. Discover what in our moral being unites us to the universe. This is the accomplishment, the highest accomplishment possible for man. You see this very uh, excellent philosophical vision. Isn't this will of perfection in, in the process of perfection, which the Chinese president calls the Chinese dream? Of course, uh, everything is not perfect and errors and uh, bad things can happen. Uh, but to face all these uh, problems, the Chinese government calls on, on people to look into Confucius to allow the Chinese to find back the harmony in themselves. The alliance with China should give France, allow France to find back its ideal and voluntarism, which the goal gave it to work together to create a new world economic order. And as uh, Li Keqiang said on July 2, 2015 in Toulouse, when our two great nations work together, it will free not only uh, a new synergy, which makes that one plus one are more than two, but also an energy comparable to thermonuclear fusion, which, of course, will be used for peace and pro the world.